Hello everyone, this is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Uh, today's quick tutorial is about storing the form submission to CCT, custom content type. The last tutorial that I made was Jet Form Builder and the form record. Now the form record was okay, but the downside is you cannot really export data to CSV file. But if you store your form submission to CCT, custom content type, uh, you are able to store and then export items to CSV file. So left side is form, so I'm gonna just hit the submit and then it's submitted and then let's refresh. And it's here and hit the export item to CSV file. And let's find it to uh, go to finder Okay, so that's on the desktop here. I'm going to double click that. Should open up with, yeah, right here on my Excel. I, I use the numbers. So it's here. So for this tutorial, you need Jet Form Builder, uh, which is free. And also, you need a Jet Engine. This is not free plugin, but uh, most of you watching this video, hopefully, you have this already. Uh, let me show you how. So, first, you have to go to Jet Engine. And then here at the module, so you have to turn the custom content types on and you will see this right here, custom content types, right? So click that. And then, so we need to create a new custom content type. So add a new, so let's call it um, tech support intake form. And then, so for this one, I just need a table. So I don't need uh, any I don't have to have a single page uh, menu icon uh, does maybe I can just pick one right here uh, position doesn't uh, maybe matter uh, let's see yeah let's just put it right here and these are so I don't really have to uh, enable for that and uh, so I have to um, add fields right right here jet form builder so I'm gonna just uh, open new window and I'm gonna just put that on the side. And I think this one, text extra intake form, uh, hit edit. So I have to make sure um, I have to create those fields, right? So I'm gonna just pause with this video. So I'm gonna just work on the, so this field. And basically, so I have uh, this field. So matching up to uh, my form field. Right, so uh, your name and then got the email address uh, they need to fill in. And also uh, I need to know what devices uh, they're using. So I'm using uh, a glossary for that. Uh, and then also I pick same glossary, right? And if they pick others, uh, they need to specify what device they're using. Uh, this is just text field. And then the last one is, this is a text area, is just I need to know what issue they are having or what they need to learn. So these are kind of form field. And I have a custom content type field. I got five of those, okay? And also, uh, I like to see uh, those um, on the table. So show in the admin columns, I need to know their name and also email address uh, devices and then uh, that as well and then so this one probably don't need to know that um, uh, maybe data should be good and actually so the date uh, i like to be sortable uh, okay um oh what's this so here you can create a new form for jet for builder configure to fill this cct uh, form from from front end Oh, okay, so let's try this. This probably... Ah, so look at that. So this actually automatically creates a form for you. So I don't have to do that. So you know what, let's use this form. So uh, I'm gonna just put uh, new here. So, uh, so I can uh, Kind of differentiate from this so I'm gonna use that so let's uh, hit update so I'm gonna just move this on the right hand side so I'm gonna move this 
uh, to maybe just the right hand side here so this is a new so this is what I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using hit update okay so let's go to uh, page I'm gonna just open up a new window new tab sorry and then uh, sort it by date and I think this is the page I embedded a form so let's uh, open up with Elementor and uh, so this is the form so this is the old one actually so I'm gonna just get rid of that and then here uh, I don't know why they're showing up too anyway so this is the one new tech support intake form so I'm gonna just pick that all right so I like to test it out here actually and I go let's go hit update and then so let's go to view page open up new tab so I can just uh, straight this out so let's just try I'll put my name here and then so I'm just copy this just like that. all right so I just fill this out quickly and then hit update or hit submit look so so let's go to a uh, dashboard here and then so I have right here tech support intake form all right so that's good and then uh, you should be able to sort this out so let's try this again I'm going to just open up a new private window and then okay try and fill again okay Oh, actually, you know what? So if you pick out, so this conditional is not working. So I have to go back to form to fix it. Uh, just to bear with me. So form builder form. So this one, so new one, uh, edit. And then, so this one is not really conditional. Condition block. Uh, so this specify your device uh, this block has to go inside of the conditional but I don't think you can do that so I have to probably create a new block which is just text field yeah just text tech not text there text field okay and then so label is gonna be I'm gonna just match up this one okay and then field name is and then I'm gonna add a condition so this is like show uh, a ghost uh, if they pick uh, we'll use the device I think it's others date and this one I should just remove this okay so hit update okay so uh, I want to just refresh this page and then let's open up uh, with uh, maybe a new window okay so now if you pick others you can specify okay good so let's try this again uh, and hit submit okay success and we go back to dashboard and then click again now so I got this done okay good thing about storing the form information in the CCT database is you, you know you can see the table also uh, you can export items to CSV file and uh, here so you can uh, pick a status um, you can actually um, put the new order right and also you can add new query if you need to so I'm gonna just hit apply it's exported and then let's go to finder so this is the one exported so if I double click it open up with numbers or Excel so as you can see you can export into CSV file so here is just a quick um, uh, video tutorial uh, for this so I hope this helps and I'll see you next time